Hello everyone, my name is Shahid Kopani and in this video we're gonna learn how to make a basic to-do list app on Xcode using Swift language. Firstly we need to create a new project and then uh, in iOS we need to go to app, to-do list here. Here you can write anything you want but I'm gonna write com.test, language Swift. Here we don't check any of those and we're ready to go. After that, we need just to create a new folder, name it to do. As you can see, our project is opened. We have two structs here. In the first one, we are building our application and the other one has content view. If we just click resume there, when we opened, we can see hello world, which is the text here, hello world. One of the cool things about Xcode is that we have a mix of programming with code and programming with user interface. And I think that that makes um, programming more fun. So to get started, let's just delete this and add a navigation view where almost everything that we will need to build this app will be written. And after that, we just write vStack, where vStack allows us to write things in a vertical line. And then list, where inside of list, we write some text. Let's say we want to write hi. As you can see, hi is displayed here. We want to put real data inside of text and for that we will need to create a new file. We'll create a new file with command n and we need a swift file. Let's name it data store. And after we create the new file we need to import swift ui Also import combine. This will help us to combine the information from one file to another. And now we will build our task. Firstly, we need to add the struct task. And uh, struct allows us to encapsulate related properties and behaviors. And we can define them, give them a name, and then use it on our code. After we do that, we have to define it as identifiable or and identifiable is a class of types uh, whose instances hold the value of an entity with stable identity. And now we will add the variables var id we will say equal to string and variable we will name it new task equal again to string and basically what this will do is that um, they will tell swift ui to look for this specific data set for more tasks and now what we need to do with all the tasks is to put them in the same object we can do that by adding a class task store and um, class is similar to a struct but provides more capabilities such as inheritance. In our case, we will inherit from observable object. And we will say we, we will define it observable object because we want um, we want this to be observed by the program. And inside of it, we add published var task equal to an array that we will call task. This will create a, um, a list of tasks from the user. We use publish because um, this will be binding tasks to our lists. 
let's not forget we will need to write tasks and this uh, brackets will be next to task and now let's go back to content view here we will import combine and to um, create a variable based on the class we built we use add observed object var task store equal to task store We need to explain what self is. Self is a special property for uh, of an instance that holds the instance itself, and we will use this property on list. Let's delete this. And inside of here, we will use self that will refer to the tasks that are in the task store. And here we will create a loop where whatever we put as a text, it will be displayed on the display. New task here. And if we resume here, we will now see that um, high is, is not there because we haven't put anything as an input. And now we are ready to add some text. Um, let's just write a title. We can write the title by using navigation uh, bar title or navigation title. And let's just um, name it to to list. After we do that, we need to create a text field where people can write to. And we will create that by um, creating a new variable, which will, which will be for search bar some view and then we will um, add each stack each stack means that our text will be uh, put it in horizontally and in this h stack we just add text field what this text field will display is insert um, new task and in this text label we'll be putting a binding string basically what binding string really means is that uh, everything that we will edit in the text field uh, it will be binded with the variable we're going to put in this and um, as we edit the text it will also edit the um, it will also edit the variable and with this will help us at state var uh, we're going to name it new new task that will be a string equal to open brackets, close brackets. And here we will just put, we will just use a self property and then um, new, new task. Now let's see how we've done. We just add search bar here. And as you can see, we have insert new task there. And if we add some padding, it just takes the size of the display, but it is not yet finished, so it looks like this. Um, let's just add a new uh, add a button because we, of course, need a button, and just write button here. And we want action and label. For the action, we will create a function a function down below, but as um, a label. We just need to put um, as text, add new. And let's just create a function down below for uh, the action of the button, because it will not function without it. Uh, add new, new task. And here 
we will not write anything just to see how it will be displayed we just use self property and then add new test um, to see it on the display we just write here search bar now we will see the insert new task here and the button add new to fix it we just add some padding and if we just click at the button it will not happen anything because we haven't made the function yet the same thing at uh, insert new task it will not do anything and now we will work with uh, the function add new new task the function of the button here we will access task store ta tasks and append append just adds a new element at the end of uh, an array inside of here we just um, get access from task and then we give it an id of st string and then we access task store dot tasks and the most important thing here is count plus one which just calculates how many inputs we will have by uh, tapping the add new button in a form of a loop we, we can say and here we just write new new task Let's just try it now. First thing we can do is um, search bar here. We can just place it at, under the VStack. And now it's more aesthetical. And if we just like say shopping or homework, as you can see, it doesn't delete the, the, the writing here. So what we can do is um, under here, we should just write self dot new, new task. And it is equal to quote. And if we replace it now, we can just see that it deletes it. What if you want to edit your to-do list? You want to uh, move them up and down? You want to delete some of them? Well, with that will help us um, on move and on delete hooks. But before that, we should just um, uh, change some of the stuff on list. Here we will we'll just use for each. So for each helps us loop the tasks and display a text field for each task. We leave the task in loop as it was. And let's go to unmove. So now before we go to unmove, we just need to delete this. And um, unmove, let's write that unmove. Perform and uh, what will be performed is a function that we will create just now down below here we will create a function named move and it will happen from source we will say index index set to destination and down here we use um, task store the tasks that move and here we use from offsets to offsets and uh, offsets just returns the offset of an inline stored property within a types in memory representation.
here we'll just write from offset source to offset um, destination. And now we will just need to create an edit button. And to create that, we will use navigation bar item property. And we will use trailing because we want our button to be on the right side. And here we will just type edit button, which will be an already created um, button from Swift. And as you can see here, edit button is on the right side. And we can just, um, for example, write, I have already written homework and gym. And if I want to change their rows, um, I can just do this. Now, if you want to delete the tasks, we have to make the undelete hook. And again, what will be performed is a function that we will create just now. We'll create a function named uh, delete. And inside of here, we're just going to type at offset. And again, index set because it will tell exactly the row that we are working on. And here we just uh, take access from task store, tasks dot remove, and uh, we will remove at offset offsets because it will get the information from the index set right here. And after we've done all that, um, here at perform, we just write um, self dot delete, and we will just see if we have done it correctly. We just run the code, and let's just um, add something on the list: homework, reading gym and we can just change the row of them and we can also delete them this way or we can delete them in another way and that's it i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you guys enjoyed the video please give us a like down below and if you have any questions please ask on the comment section goodbye